I'm Mark Hanlon, Mr. Saltwater Tank. Come and tell me half at saltwateraquarium.com and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank RUF. Raw, uncut, first impressions. The show where I call it as I see it and use products that I haven't used before. Today, we're gonna have a look at the much anticipated HANA Magnesium Checker. And I'm gonna break this show up into two parts. First, I'm gonna run a test on this thing and just run it blind and see how hard it is to use. Then, I'm gonna use it for a couple of weeks, put it to work in the field. My tank, client tanks, I'm gonna see the results of this thing against a normal test kit and against Neptune Systems Trident Automatic Tester. I wanna see what's more accurate, what's closer to what we think is a mag given magnesium level in certain tanks and see how this thing holds up over the test of time. So today, just gonna to run this thing blind and give you my impressions. So with that, let's jump into it. All right, here we go. First thought, this is a bigger box than the alkalinity or the phosphate reagents or kits, sorry. So, so I expect there's more to it. This is a tester unit sent to us. The boss used it, he sent it to me. So if you're seeing some liquid in here, he's already used it. So we have written instructions. I like that there's this little place to hold things. And then we have graphical instructions. I like these things. I'm gonna read the instructions likely the first time, then I'm gonna follow this. Okay, let's be honest. We're just gonna look at this, but this is great. You start looking at stuff, you need a quick reference these graphical instructions are really cool. So let's use them and see what we can get going. <clears throat> Power this thing on, add C1. Now, I would think that we're gonna add a sample of water, but it says no. The other thing I'm noticing in this kit is there's no powder or packet reagents. There's liquid and there's liquid, which is great. Much easier to deal with than dealing with powder. All right, so we're gonna grab a syringe, we're gonna grab a tip, and four mils. So slowly pull up four mils. That's that. We grab a cuvette. Four mils in. Done. No shaking. Five mils of sample water. All right, I'll go get that. Got my five mils of sample water from my tank. Got a good hold of the cuvette. Can't tell you how many times I've fumbled these and spilled out everything. When I'm running a test, sample water goes in and try not to dump everything off my table. Tell you what, let's be smart and put the cap back on reagent A, just in case I get klutzy. Shake five times. I'm gonna wipe this off. Keep any fingerprints off of it. And put it in. Press the button. So I'm not gonna hold it like this because it could throw off the readings. I want the water to be, or the sample to be level in there. So hit the button. Add C2. All right, C2, one mil of reagent B, they give us this small syringe here, one mil syringe with a tip. They want us to use the tips that's in all the drawings. So I'm gonna take that out, set that aside, reagent B. This should look familiar. This looks very much like the alkalinity reagent bottles, except they filled it with red wine. It's my first thought of that. All right, one mil, super simple. And I'm gonna dump it in here. Close that up before I make a mess. Invert five times, it says. Of course, put the cap on, don't fumble it like I always do. I'm gonna invert that five times. I'm gonna wipe it down just to be sure. <coughs> and 17.55. Okay, couple of thoughts. One, I'm impressed that this thing goes over 1,500. A lot of tests get stop at 1,500, and if you have higher than that magnesium, that you're dead in the water. So this is telling me it's 1,755. Now I'm gonna talk about if that's accurate or not in a separate video, but I like that it will go over 1,500. And at this point, the test is done. Having run one blind test with magnesium checker, 
I like what I see and here is why. First, I really like those graphical instructions. Super simple to use. You can look at the picture and know what you have to do. Second, there's no powder reagents in this thing at all. It's all liquid, so you don't have to open up those packets of reagents, try to empty it down in the cuvette, wonder if you got all the power out of there or not. Is that gonna throw off your test results? It's just liquid with this thing. They give you syringes, they give you tips. I don't have to put the cuvette in my tank anymore and try to get the right amount of water. I use this syringe for that, so it's super simple. There's only one more step on this than the alkalinity reagent, so that makes it super simple to use. Something that, look, it's so simple, you should not avoid using it because you're like, oh, I've got to run a test, it takes a while. So I like that aspect of the magnesium checker. Now I got to go out there and put this thing to use. I'm going to stack it up against the Neptune Systems Trident automatic checker. I'm going to break out my NIOS magnesium test kits, and I'm going to see how this thing fares in terms of results. Now, the last parting thought at this point with the magnesium checker is, how often am I really gonna use this thing? Because how often do most people check magnesium in their tank? Full disclosure, I have a Neptune Systems Trident on my tank, so I don't check magnesium manually. Not everyone wants an automatic checker, not everyone's gonna pay for it. They don't even have a Neptune Systems Trident or other products to find out what the magnesium level automatically is in their tank. So, when I didn't have a Trident, I was checking my magnesium levels once a week. It would, you know, would use a NIOS kit, which had several steps to it. I like the checkers because it gives me a number readout. I don't have to look at color cards. I don't have to count drops, none of that stuff. Super simple. So I would have this in my arsenal, especially if you really like HANA products, you've got all the checkers and you want to add this one in. That makes this a no brainer for me. So at this point, I like what I'm seeing. Let's go put this thing out to work in the real world and follow up with you to see what I found when I put it to use in the field. I'm Mark Callen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Till next time, enjoy your tanks, and I'll catch you in the next episode.